Most of Korea is feeling the blustery influence of typhoon Lion Rock that has made landfall in Japan. Special strong wind advisories are in place across the country, but the nation's east coast will be the hardest hit. Park Jong-hong starts us off. Korea's east coast has been under a storm and tidal wave watch for two days now. Coastal areas in Gangwon-do province are being battered by waves of up to four meters high. On Wednesday morning, a strong wind watch was additionally issued for 13 other locations. Weather experts say a low pressure front will combine with the ebbing tides in the afternoon, and that's when the biggest damage may occur. Tides are forecast to settle down from Thursday evening. Damage has been minimal so far, with an 80-meter stretch of road and a fence spanning 50 meters collapsing from the impact of the waves. The ferry service between Kangwondo Province and Ulung Island has been suspended since Sunday, and more than 2,600 fishing vessels have taken shelter, rendered idle. Weather experts advise people to take extra precautions against accidents and flooding during the unsettled weather. Other parts of Korea are also feeling the influence of typhoon Lion Rock that made landfall in Japan late Tuesday. Korea's central region, including Seoul, can expect gusty winds and up to 50 millimeters of rain on Wednesday. The afternoon high in Seoul is going to top out at just 19 degrees Celsius. That's five degrees cooler than Tuesday's high. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.